to features the struggling Kansas City Royals 28-71 taking on the New York Yankees 51-47 at the Bronx. The Royals have been facing a tough season with just 28 wins and are second to last in the league. Meanwhile, the Yankees are trying to climb out of the competitive AL East basement and are four games back in the AL wild card race. Both teams have powerful hitters, with Michael Massey shining for the Royals and Billy McKinney delivering for the Yankees. Pitching-wise, Brady Singer will take the mound for the Royals, while Jared Cole, in the running for the AL Cy Young Award, will start for the Yankees. The game's outcome might be decided on their performance. The Yankees are the favorites, but with uncertainties in the matchup, it could be anyone's game. MLB Clash features the struggling Colorado Rockies 38-59 facing the Miami Marlins 53-46 at Lone Depot Park. The, Rock the Rockies secured a solid 6-1 victory in the previous game, with C.J. Prime leading the wave with a 2-1 blast. However, Colorado's pitching situation remains uncertain, while the Marlins will rely on Johnny Cuto, making his second start of the season. Miami is determined to break their seven-game losing streak and keep their hopes alive for the NL wildcard spot. The Marlins have the advantage of being the favorite and have shown strength at home with a 30-19 record. With both teams having decent hitting performances, the over slash under set at eight seems plausible. In a contest where both teams have something to prove, expect a competitive matchup with the Marlins likely to clinch a 6-4 victory. NL Central Division Showdown at Wrigley Field features the surging St. Louis Cardinals 44-54 taking on the Chicago Cubs 46-51. The Cardinals have been in excellent form, winning 8 of their last 10 games, while the Cubs are looking to gain ground in the division race. St. Louis will send right-hander Miles Mikola 6-5, 4.14 ERA to the mound, coming off a solid performance in his last start. The Cubs will have right-hander Michael Fulmer 1-5. 4.46 ERA as their opener, showcasing his potential for striking out batters. The Cardinals hold the advantage with a recent winning streak and a strong performance against the Cubs in past matchups. St. Louis hitting has been more consistent, ranking 6th in OPS and 10th in run scored, while the Cubs are middling in both categories. Expect the Cardinals to continue their hot streak and secure a 5-3 victory on the road, maintaining their push to climb back into the division race. Saturday's matchup between the Los Angeles Dodgers 56-40 and the Texas Rangers 58-40 at Globe Life Field promises to be an exciting battle between two top teams in baseball. The Dodgers are on a roll, winning 9 of their last 11 games and holding a 3-game lead in the NL West Division. On the other hand, the Rangers have been impressive at home, winning 33 of their first 54 games and leading the AL West Division by 3.5 games. The Dodgers will have rookie right-handed Bobby Miller 5-1, or .25 ERA on the mound, boasting a solid record in weight. Meanwhile, the Rangers will counter with 28-year-old righty Dane Dunning 8-2, 2.82 ERA, who has been in fine form lately. Both teams have potent lineups, with the Dodgers ranking third in OPS and fourth in run score, and the Rangers holding second place in OPS and first in run score. With such offensive firepower on display and two quality pitchers on the mound, expect an entertaining high-scoring game. The overslash under line of nine looks favorable, and the final score prediction is a close 6-5 victory for the Los Angeles Dodgers.